Okay, today we're going to talk about Control Lab and how to set up a basic workflow to use it. This setup today is using a Stable Diffusion 1.5 with an RTX 5070 Ti. But the same logic with slight modifications can be applicable to SDXL or Flux as well. Whether you're using an RTX 5060, 5070, 5080 or 5090, it should all be applicable as well. Be sure to check out my video on how to install Comfy UI using PyCos 2.7 for QDA 12.8 for the RTX 50 series if you are having difficulties installing it in the first place. To start things off, I will explain what ControlNet is. With ControlNet, you can take a picture with a pose as a reference and use it to generate a completely different image with the same pose, regardless of the style or character. The stronger the strength of the ControlNet, the more the output image will follow the reference image. The better the source image you have as a reference, the better the quality of the final output image is. So it's best to find a high quality image to help your stable diffusion model obtain more information to be used as a reference. Next, for control net, it also comes with various models that reference image differently. So the most basic and functional ones that I use for are the Open pose, which takes on the structure of a human form. You can get reference to hands and facial expressions as well, but uh, for the hands and facial expression, it's not the best. For the second one is the line art, which references the outline and details within the subject and the background of the image. Lastly is the depth model, which references the depth of feel of the surrounding and the outline of the subject and its surrounding as well. I hope this gives a quick explanation of the types of control net models you can use and how it works in general. For prerequisite requirements, some things to take note before we move on with the walkthrough. Uh, I am using something called the Efficiency Notes Custom Notes. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description below if you need help in installing it. This custom note serves to simplify some of the basic notes used for stable diffusion. So I suggest checking out my other videos showing how to install it and use them before continuing this video if you are not familiar with it. The general idea of efficiency, efficiency notes is the same as uh, any other normal setup once you get used to it. So be sure to check it out and understand how it works so that you don't get lost while following this uh, walkthrough. With that out of the way, let's carry on with the setup. But before that, I would appreciate a like, comment and subscribe to help push this video to the right community who finds this uh, useful. First, go to Comfy UI Manager. I will also leave the description in the, uh, the links in the description below if you need help installing it for your RTX 50 series GPU. Search for ControlNet and install the custom node for ControlNet Ops by FanNovel16. ControlNet Auxiliary Preprocessor, to put it simply, is the tools used to process an image with the help of ControlNet models to extract the data required for it to be used as a reference image for the subsequent generation of your uh, final image. Once the installation is completed, take note of any errors and see if you need to deal with them at the moment. For me, I'll ignore them for now as I don't, they don't affect the main function of my Comfy UI. Refresh your Comfy UI and we can begin our setup. Search for Control Net Stacker, which is part of your Efficiency Node Bundle. Connect it to the CNET stack in the Efficiency Loader. Search for Control Net Model. Connect it to the Control Net Stacker. Then choose your Control Net Model to use, which you need to download from Comfy UI Manager. By going to the models and search for open post, then download it. Next is uh, you will search for DAP and download this link as well. Lastly is to search for line art and download the one that I am using right now. Finally, hit R to refresh the browser and you should be able to select your models accordingly. Select the open post model for now. We will just draw reference from the body structure post first. Search for a load image node and a DW post estimator node. Connect the load image node to the DW post node. The DW post is the preprocessor that detects the reference image and turns it into a control net readable image for our post reference. The DW post node is connected to the control net stacker node and that's it. 
there are quite a few settings in the DW post node, but from what I've tested, you only need to meddle with the detect hands, body, or face setting. Maybe you can adjust the resolution a little bit. If you are using a larger model like SDXL, you can turn the resolution up to 1024 pixels if your reference image fits that size. Because the reference image is important, a wrongly sized image will most likely mess up your final generation. So it's important to use higher quality reference image for control net uh, whenever it is possible. Here you can see the reference image turned into a skeleton structure. This is the image used for control net open post reference. And after a quick generation, you can see that the new image takes reference from the original image using control net. Take note that as this is a SD 1.5 model, which is small by nature, details are usually lost. Even if I would add in details using face detailer, the final image will still be blurry. Aside from using efficiency nodes, a high res fix uh, to scale the image in latent space, you can also do a manual high res fix to upscale the latent image by around 1.5 times and resample the image with a denoise of 50% to make the image look better. That is just an additional tip if you want to increase the quality of your final image. With that, you can change the prompt and the post reference should still remain the same as long as your open post control net is active. Next, we will move on to test out other control net models. Copy the whole connection for the open post setup as a reference with some slight modifications. Search for Zoe Dead Map node and connect your reference image to this node. Connect it to the control net stacker node and choose the depth control net model in the load control net model node. Now we shall do another copy of the workflow, but this time change the model to the line art uh, control net model. Daisy chain all the control net stacker nodes and link them together leading to the efficiency node. You can now queue prompt and see all three control nets uh, working in tandem. But there is a mistake here. I expect to see a line art reference, but I was given two depth references instead. This is because I chose the wrong preprocessor. There are two Zoe depth maps being used. So you can simply replace it with a line art preprocessor. For this case, you can choose realistic since the reference image is a realistic image. Connect everything back and it should work after setting the strength value to a smaller amount. Here you can see the line art extracted from the preprocessor and the actual image generated. As you can see, it's a monstrosity, but the concept works and that's all that matters for now. We can improve the image later. Now let's set the strength to zero for line art and open post and try out that instead. Again, a monstrosity, but it still works. And lastly, we go back to open post. This is what happens when you forget to look at your prompts. I wrote a boy dancing in a mall, but the reference image is clearly that of a female, which is why it resulted in a monstrosity like this. So it is not the control net's fault, but mine as a user. Uh, the takeaway point is that just be careful of what you actually prompt. As a final tip, you can control B to bypass any control net setup you are not using. This helps you see your workflow better. Be sure to check out my other videos talking about installing Comfy UI and notes I use uh, in this control net demo. I will continue to refine the workflow as this is a very raw setup and I'll probably share it here on my YouTube channel once I get the hang of it with my RTX 5070 Ti just for record keeping purposes. Until then, remember to like, comment and subscribe to help push this video to the right community who might find it useful and I'll see you when I see you.